we think that the steps of the plan is what's important. Mm. And I think that just actually trusting that you will figure it out yeah. or trusting that you have a plan is what's important. The important thing is to take the first step and start to do it. So if we're talking about like restructuring the company or something, mm -hmm. I think it's more important that we have a plan to restructure the company yeah. than the steps right. of restructuring right. the company. Because the plan to restructure the company is the intention. And so, and, yeah. and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm working towards this outcome. I can't anticipate everything that will ha work or not work. All I can do is keep moving forward and driving mm -hmm. towards it. I feel like sometimes your experience and your knowledge can get in the way, right? And sometimes within that uncertainty, you get the variable that leads to one step closer to the outcome. You thinking you know best on something, it doesn't really allow for an open mind and for kind of a, you know, a looser perspective on how things can go. Your rigidity can actually kind of be uh, a big hindrance for you. If you develop a plan that is so rigid or if you're the type of person where when something comes up, it frustrates you, it angers you, or you can't break the plan right. because your comfort level is with the plan, right. then you're gonna get into trouble. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is getting to a place where you can just plan enough to take the first step. It's all like, oh, but it's not quite ready yet. What I get lost in is, I mean, aside from the judgment, with, which is a huge part of it, aside from your self-esteem in the plan, which is another factor, it's getting bogged down in the details the practicality of every step. I can get very OCD about knowing everything about something before I do it and needing to know all that information. Like if I'm at, if I go to a concert, I need to know where the exits are. Like I look around and see like if there was a fire in here, like where are the exits? Which way am I going? Like all these little things I take into account. I don't know if it's because I'm like just naturally paranoid or, um, you know, I have little faith in, in, in fire safety. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but it's, it's something that I do continuously. I need to know how things work. And then it's like a sigh of relief. Oh, okay. I understand the process here. Like I, I deal with anxiety all the time. Yeah. It sounds like if you're busy checking the exits at a concert, you're dealing with anxiety too, but that's For a different sure. thing. For sure. So, so the thing with anxiety is it's just, a it's, it's a lack of comfort. Yeah. or a stress or of the potential future unknowns. But the answer is always, if you think back to everything that you've ever faced, you've dealt with it, right? Everything. Everything, everything. you've ever faced, you've dealt with. Now, everything. you may have failed, it may have gone wrong, um, you may have been embarrassed, you may be mortified, you may think, why did I do that and why did I say that? But you, but you dealt with it. But here's the thing, anxiety comes not from the fear of the unknown type of thing. Right. It's from our worry that we will not be able to do what we need to do in that moment. Having the plan is you working really, really hard to try and do everything that you need to do just so you have comfort in the future. Yeah, you're trying to create sense of what, of what you're about to do. But the answer is right. you have always dealt with everything you've yes, been faced that's right. and you will always deal yeah. with everything you're faced in the future. That's not going to stop. So right. let's go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? Let's just take that step, man, and let's start doing it. go. That expression, like, everything will work out in the end. It says- It will work out in the end, yeah. and if it hasn't worked out, it's not over yet. It'll all work out in the end. You need to trust, right, that you're gonna get to that from A to Z, yeah. you're gonna get to Z. It's like, listen, man, we're gonna get here. No. Plan enough to get started. Yeah, and you should, know, you should know your goal. Know your goal, yeah. plan enough to get started, right. and trust that you will figure it out along yeah, the way. Exactly. Because the trust in yourself, not in the plan, the trust in yourself and the outcome is way more valuable. Because that's who's actually going to do it. The plan's not going to do it. You're going to do it, right? I love that. Yeah. Plans are just affirmations on a piece of paper that you're going to do something, they're not the tangible. They're not the translated elbow grease that's going to get this shit done. You're going to do it. It's up to you. The plan is just an extension of, of, of your ability, your skills, your belief in yourself. That's all it is.
right? It's not, it's not concrete. You actualize it. That's your job. And right. so we're going to get there. And I trust that when we're there, we're going to figure it out. Right. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.